Hi, I'm Nick Noble, and this is Smart Punk Live, broadcasting from the Wrecking Ball Fest 2016 in Atlanta, Georgia. I am joined by a hardcore legend, uh, the the pioneer and frontier of so many things that happened that started from New York. But this year is Anthony Siv Civarelli. Hi, everyone. Uh, he is the lead singer of Siv and also Gorilla Biscuits. I am. Uh, two of the bands, like I said, that are pretty seminal. And this is uh, my daughter, Eddie. She wants to talk. He is quite a family man. Eddie. Uh, she's, she's welcome in and <laughs> on your lap if I'm you'd like. A family guy today. Speaking on Gorilla Biscuits a little more, I know uh, there was something that happened uh, a couple shows ago that kind of blew up on the internet. Uh, that, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think I know what you're talking uh, about. And I, I thought you really elaborated on it beautifully on stage, but I Thank know you. that... that uh, but speaking of Wrecking Ball, um, I know that only the people that were in that room got to hear your heartfelt explanation of how you, you feel like the words were mistaken. I, well, I think, I mean, it was, I was actually really surprised um, when I woke up on, uh, you know, Sunday after. I was uh, with my kids. We have a little uh, bungalow, uh, like a summer place, and we were swimming, and, you know, people were sort of texting me. And I was like, how could you, what? Like, how could that be misconstrued? Or like, I thought it was so clear. And then it was like, you said this. And I was like, I didn't say that. Yeah. You know? And then it got, you know, it really just got out of control. I think it really got out of control when people started getting my back about it. Mm. Because then it was like. Then it was a war. Then lines it was were a, drawn. It was, it was lines were drawn. And which I'm a f I'm a fan of choosing sides. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm sure. not a fan of gray area most of the time. I'm very black and Love white. Love that band though. Yes, I love Gray. <laughs> Ernie's the best. But I just, um, I just, you know, choose choose a side, and and you have to. And I think it's a hardcore thing too, man. Like you know, yeah. you have to choose, you know, what side you're on. And I think when uh, lines were drawn and people started, you know, defending it, that almost made it worse because then it seemed like you know we did something that needed to be defended, or I said something that needed to be defended. Right. And it was just like these are here are the words you know we had them uh, Joe Hardcore really helped me out by he had somebody sit down and like just go through it a few times and like write them out because I yeah, even said to him I said is right this down. the exact quote like yeah and he's just like those are the exact words so I was like okay let's put this up and that'll you know chill it out and uh, he and he, you know he was like I you know Joe's Joe so he was like sure. I'm ready to kill somebody yeah. and I was just like it's gonna be cool you know like it's all right people will you know people will rise to the occasion and understand what we were talking about and and it, it took it took a few more days but I think it was really so much I got so much like love and support from mm -hmm. like everybody and I think that people um, I think some people really got upset and they got angry and it's a, a you know it was a trigger phrase and people get triggered quick and especially people who are you know more um, they're on the internet more than I am or more you know there's mm -hmm. they're living more in that scene and I'm more face-to-face -face crowd conversation sure. you know? um, so there was there you know I also appreciated, in a way, from even people who were talking shit and like really fired up, I accept the passion. I accept the anger, because even I, though it, it was even though it was misguided. it was it was it was misguided. If they didn't feel it was misguided, and even though they were super fucking pissed at me and the band for for what they thought you know we said or what we meant, I still appreciated the passion and, right. and the anger because I think punk rock and hardcore you we you know we need mm -hmm. that and I didn't I didn't want to be the sacrificial lamb for that right. but I I you know if you're gonna hate hate with all your heart yeah. so <laughs> yeah. and they did and it was and it was fine because afterwards you know it's the dialogues went on the conversations went on and you know I feel you know I was we were all very like I didn't know how Atlanta was going to be because this was the first show sure. after that. Yeah. And you hope everybody rises to the occasion with you and understands you, but 
It was definitely <laughs> nerve wracking. Watching in the Gorilla Biscuits set, I think more it was, than everyone. No, rest of I, the dude, trust me. Last <laughs> last night was last night everywhere. was the only good night's sleep I got in a week because I was so stressed out. But after the show, I was we were just really happy we had a show lined up because I don't I don't know what I would have done if I had to wait like you know yeah three if or there four was a big play. fallout and yeah or whatever you know but. Like I said, it was, you know, I appreciate the the passion and the anger and, like, getting upset about something. I don't think it was, you know, de deserved to be directed at me, but I think we it started a dialogue, and I think uh, ultimately it's a good thing. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Nick Noble with Smart Punk Live from Wrecking Ball with Civ signing off. Thank Take you. Take care, guys. Thank you. All right, but that was good. You know what? I just, I just, when I, after I, uh, this is a perfect me situation. Uh -huh. I realized before when I said there's no gray area, mm -hmm. it's just black or white. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, so, so whoever's going to jump on uh, that one, yeah. I already thought of it. <laughs> I didn't mean black and white, I meant gray area. Because <laughs> you never know. I got to cover yeah, my bases. You're, right, you're right. Yeah. Uh, but Every I was like, word. oh man, was that bad? Is that going to cause trouble? <laughs> All right. I don't believe so. I think so. I'm okay. All yeah. right.